All right, what's up guys? Um, I just want to show you how easy it is to actually get a external GPU to work on a MacBook um, Pro. I this is the mid-2014 Retina. It does have the built-in 750M, I believe. 750M, yeah, that sounds right. Um, we won't be using it with Mac OS X. We will be using it with Windows uh, for the sake of simplicity. And you're going to have to acquire yourselves one of these things. Essentially, it's just an external GPU. Well, it's not even a GPU housing. It's a housing you can use a PCI Express card with. Probably a capture card. Or like a... Um, shit, I'm not even sure. Wireless card, but Mac has wireless in it, so... Essentially, let's just uh, say we're going to be using what everyone else purchasing this is going to be using it for, a graphics card. So in here, got my friend's uh, 750 Ti. It does not use additional power. Uh, I'm waiting for a 9A, 980? Yeah, I believe a 980 to come in. So anyways, we just plugged it in. I'm not going to do any modifications to any of the wiring or anything like they were showing, or probably how you've read it online. Um, since this card fits and it doesn't need external power, we are going to put it back in its housing. Well, it should fit. I can't really do it with one hand. Cool. All right, so we'll put this here. We've got Thunderbolt. Plug your Thunderbolt in. Plug your Thunderbolt into the case. Doesn't really matter which slot you plug it into, whichever one you prefer. Try plugging it in the correct way. That would probably be the best method. Um, so they give you this little power adapter. Yeah, right here. Uh, with it. 60 watts complete ass can't use this for anything uh, so scrap that I took the power cable off of it kind of a weird design they use on the cable they actually have the negative terminal or not the negative terminal the negative wire is braided around the uh, insulation to the positive so I just took this and plugged it into a Hobby King power or a uh, power supply for RC cars actually. They're chargers. They're regulated at 13.8 uh, volts and they really don't jump at all. So they're pretty stable to use for applications like this. Um, so it's on. Great. We are going to kill the Mac. I ain't gonna fucking even deal with that. All right. Now that it's off, fire it back up, get in the windows, the thing does turn off when you turn the computer off too. So now we're just going into a normal copy of Windows 10. And that was another huge problem I had. I couldn't actually get this to work on Windows 7. Uh, something to do with how it boots. So I did upgrade to Windows 10 and it actually fixed all the problems I was having. up all of its startup bullshit Windows got. Okay, let's see if we can't get NVIDIA to load up. Okay, now let's see if we can't find the graphics cards. So it's that simple. Um, all I had to do was install the desktop version of the drivers. I did that before I plugged it in and that saved me all the hassle of it not booting correctly and screen freezing on boot. 
Um, this won't help you get the card to actually work with the screen in the computer. I think you might still be able to set to use physics if you're actually playing a game on the screen. But uh, what I was doing was uh, deactivating the screen completely, putting it up on the TV, and just plugging the HDMI right into the card in here. Um, this is more of a simple one because of the power. It doesn't really require that much power. I believe it's only 75 watts that card is. So you really don't need to cobble with any of the wiring. After my 980 gets here, that's going to be a little more difficult with the uh, 300 watts it actually needs. So we're going to have to figure something else out. And the uh, card's twice as big as the case, so we'll have to figure out what's something with the case also. So I'll be getting back with you guys when that rolls in and uh, 